Hey soul family, welcome back to the channel. This is the White Feather Tarot and in today's reading we're taking a look at two clear messages that are meant to reach you right now. And to do this reading there are two ways in which you can pick your piles today. Either using your zodiac signs, which you will find a link to down in the description box, it will take you straight to the part of the introduction where we shuffle your zodiac signs and find out in which pile they're going to fall under. Or you can, of course, pick your piles using your intuition. In that case, there are two ways in which you can do that. The first way is to pick through the Hierophant cards at the up top, the, uh, using the card up top in each deck. Or you can pick your pile using your crystals. If this is your preferred method, let me introduce your crystals to you. For pile number one, you have the sodalite in the shape of a pyramid. For pile number two, you have the selenite in the shape of a snowflake. And for pile number three, you have the uh, unikite jasper in the shape of an angel. So, take a look at which one of these three piles or three crystals you're the most drawn to and this or these will be the piles for you here today. As I always say, I highly encourage you to check out more than one pile or maybe even all of the piles in case you feel drawn to these different piles and not just one. If you're of course drawn to just one pile, then I highly recommend you stick to that unless you were given any other sign to check check another pile. And once you're ready, you'll find the timestamps down in the description box. Click on your times and I will see you in your readings. In a moment, I am about to assign different zodiac signs to each pile. And so if this is something that you do not prefer, uh, then please pause the video, take as much time as you need, and I will see you in your readings. But if you prefer to pick your piles using your zodiac signs, then my dear soul family, this specific part of the introduction was created specifically for you guys. What I like to do is shuffle your zodiac signs in my bag really well before drawing out four zodiac signs for each pile. What I do every day is draw out the first uh, zodiac signs, the first four zodiac signs for pile number one, and then the second uh, group for pile number two, and then the third group for pile number three. What I feel personally like doing today is to um, draw one out of the bag for each pile until they form the four zodiac signs. So let's find out together <laughs> what which zodiac sign will uh, fall under which pile for today's reading. All right, so for pile number one, you have Scorpio, the sign Scorpio. For pile two, the first sign is Aquarius. For pile three, the first sign is Gemini. For pile one, the second sign is Taurus. Pile two, the second is Libra. And pile three, the second is Capricorn. For pile one, the third is Aries. For pile two, the third is Cancer. 
for pile three. The third is Sagittarius. And for pile number one, the fourth sign is Virgo. Pile two, the uh, fourth sign is Leo. And of course, for pile three, the fourth sign is Pisces. So, my dear soul family, these are the zodiac signs and their association to each pile. For today's reading, please feel free to pick your piles using your sun, moon, or rising. I highly recommend you check out the three. Uh, unless there is a specific placement in your chart that you prefer to pick by, usually, or just for today's reading, this is definitely all up to you. And once you're ready, you'll find the timestamps down in the description box. Click on your times and I will see you in your readings. Hi, pile number one. Welcome to your reading. Today, we're taking a look at two clear messages that are meant to reach you right now. We'll be doing these two readings together. We'll take a look at the first message and then on the next row, we'll be taking a look at your second clear message that is meant to reach you right now. Your crystal is the beautiful soda light in the shape of a pyramid. And if you've picked your pile using your zodiac signs, then in that case, the signs for this pile are Scorpio, Taurus, Aries, and Virgo. Welcome to your reading. If these are not your zodiac signs, as I always remind you guys, please don't worry about it. Remember, it is a general reading. Some specific details may resonate with you, and at other times, it may not, and that's okay. Uh, it may be for someone else, and that's the nature of a general reading. Okay, so your cards are now shuffled. Let's begin your two clear messages. What I want to do in today's reading is shuffle your tarot deck with the Hierophant. This will be our Significator card. And I don't know if this will waste time during the reading. We'll find out. And then, nah, it looks like we're meant to do something else. So the first four tarot cards are out. I don't think we're meant to do what I had in mind. Ooh, looks like this moved as well. So I think the first ca tarot cards for the first reading have shown up. It, so it seems like you have five tarot cards. And uh, let's take a look at your oracle cards. So for the first message, you have the, the Letha, that's the month or the uh, uh, in the wheel of, what is it called? The wheel of uh, life. Let me check. Wheel of the Year, sorry. <laughs> the Wiccan Wheel of the Year. Letha. All right, so let's keep it there. Ah, oh, did I show you how your card looked like? There we go. So cute. Okay. It does look like a witch coven, right? And they're manifesting something. Look at the smoke. Something is happening for sure. And the sun is rising. There's a lot of symbolism in this card. So, you've got Letha, and I believe Letha is uh, between June the 20th to June the 24th. So, let's see if that's an actual timing in your reading or not. Let's find out together. You have soil. Ooh, something is happening here. Um, you can see the... Um, Earthworm, building something, creating air within the soil, giving, giving uh, air for the soil. You can see the roots starting to form, insects building tunnels, and of course the shell representing the past. So, geology, the past. Okay, 
a lot is going on under the ground. So much, right, that we can't see. <laughs> Which makes me start to think that something perhaps may be uh, happening in June. Maybe this card is actually denoting something is in the works. Some grand manifestation is in the works. And you might start seeing uh, it appear in your life in June. Maybe. Let's continue. So you have the material aspect of Aries with vitality. And here it said, no, guys, look at that. It says a seeding sprouts through the soil. Wow. So you have, it's time to fully honor the miracle of your life. You do not need to do anything to be deserving of love and happiness. Just being alive is enough. Take some time to appreciate who and where you are. So sweet. Okay. Final Oracle card. Yeah. Oh, this is sliding out, actually. Maybe it's meant to be part of the first message. I was just trying to create space, right? Last Oracle card for this part of the reading is the Ingwa's rune. No, guys. Oh, my God. <laughs> the synchronicity in your reading. Is this crazy? Seed of life. Fertility, creation, new beginnings. This is crazy. It's unbelievable. Okay. And I do know that Letha is about uh, abundance, specifically uh, abundance of light. And it's about resting and reflection. So let's see. Let's take a look at your tarot cards. What your first clear message, talking about clear, right? <laughs> so you have the Apprentice of Fire. This is the Page of Wands right clearly marking a new beginning here and wands is uh summer so uh, and i do know that uh, letha is in the summer solstice right so we're clearly talking about the very beginning of summer something is sprouting for you so that is definitely timing at this point so you've got the page of wands you have the five of swords The Ace of Wands, right? The Ace of Wands. You have the Ace of Cups, two aces. How about we keep them together? Water puts out fire. So there's a message here, right? Uh, you have the goddess of fire. This is the queen of wands. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. And you have the uh, full card, the initiate. Something is definitely initiate. Yeah. Something is going to be initiated for you or is going to begin for you in June. So your first clear message is perhaps talking about uh, putting the fire of perhaps your soul because the aces do have to do with like the soul, the beginnings, uh, I feel like you're really trying to manifest something. It could mean two things. You're either working so hard towards something and you might be busy and worried because of the earth warm here. You could be busy and worried. And I do see your guide saying, put out your worries, something big is happening for you if this is work if you continue working up until next june with vitality something sprouting and it's bringing a lot of life force into your life with the aces especially the ace of wands um but if this is not work you're like worried about something trying to manifest something else i also see this as a clear message for you note that your fears are going to finally um, be taken off, be taken care of. You're not gonna feel, uh, you're not gonna feel that burn any longer because in June, what this big thing that you're trying to manifest is coming true for you. So I can see with the Queen of Wands being very successful, be feeling very powerful, feeling uh, very excited, very happy, very in control. Um, 
and I see there is a huge celebration happening in June because of the start of something great. Because look at that. You have a child about to be born, uh, representing Horus, of course. So you have the child about to be born. You have roots being built and a plant about to sprout. So this is definitely your guides letting you know that with Aries and the material aspect of Aries, something materialistic of great significance will be abundant for you in June. Also, remember we did talk about Letha being um, about rest and reflection. So it means two messages here, two clear messages. Rest your soul now and your worries now because you will be o really okay by June. Uh, something big is happening. And also it means that by June, if you're working very hard now, this remember we divided it into two parts, this reading, depending on where you fall. Maybe you fall on both. And in that case, your second message is um, if you're working very hard towards something and you're trying to manifest, you know, with the witches going around the fire, this is you're creating energy, you're creating momentum, you believe in something and you are uh, not just believing but you're creating movement around you and that's definitely putting things into the works in the ether you know the soil in that case represents the ether things are happening maybe beyond what you can see but it is definitely uh, happening and i do see with the five of swords that it is uh, i want to say challenging why Although it's a card of like winning and losing and bullying, to me here in this context, it's like you're in it to win it, right? There's this idea of this will either beat me or I will beat this. I, 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 and that's why there's manifestation here. Uh, there's very strong motivation that is fueled by action going on in this pile. So much motivation, so much action, so much belief. Uh, and this uh, with Apprentice of Fire, this Page of Wands, this is the beginning of something big that will continue to actually, actually manifest into that power where I see you holding the manifestation of this power in your hands, like I said, by June. This couldn't be a coincidence. This is definitely a strong message for you that uh, continue to do what you're doing or continue to like stop uh, worrying because you don't want it to, you know, turn off that fire that's being built, that manifestation that you are creating. Um, use your emotions in the right way with the Ace of Cups to increase that energy. It's like fire and uh, cups, like effort and heart. Both need to be in conjunction to each other for this to, to unite, do you see? To unite to get together to create that birth. These two need to come together. That reminds me of temperance, actually. But putting that aside, why not, actually? Okay, what I'm trying to say is you need these two both elements of great belief, but also great action um, to continue manifesting what it is that you are trying to manifest. In fact, this reminds me, this is the Ingwa's rune. The Ingwa's rune um, is like about new beginnings. Oh, this is exactly like the Five of Swords. How did I not see that? The Ingwa's rune is about something that's about to harvest for you that can either go right or go wrong. And you know, even the Ingwa's rune has to do with birth and the, the, the harvest just like we're seeing all over your reading. Because in the old times, in the ancient times, giving birth or when it's time for the harvest, it's a very critical time. It's either a time where this baby is going to survive or this harvest is going to survive, or you might just lose everything that you have been working hard towards. Because um, a lot of babies would die during their birth. Uh, a lot of the harvest would be eaten or maybe rotten or any mishap could happen during that time. So this is definitely saying, be careful. You're getting there. You're manifesting something strong. Continue at it. 
it's working for you. It's a clear message that is working for you. Continue to work hard and believe. You may not be seeing how this is going to come together by June, but just believe. And there's a wink here for you. It's kind of like we got this and there's so much happening that you're not seeing at the moment that will be sprouting for you should you continue to be careful with both elements, the work and the heart. And you've got the initiation here talking about how you will be manifesting and receiving this wish in your hands uh, by June and absolutely enjoying it. Okay, so this is your first clear message uh, that is you're meant to receive right now. Now let's take a look at what your second one is. So you have a Scorpio card with transformation. It's interesting. We did talk about... No, this is... Ah, yes, exactly. We did talk about how uh, Letha is between June the 20th to the 24th. And that's another time you get 24. So just a quick confirmation on the timing here that we're seeing. Now let's took, uh, take a look at the second message separately, unless they are this like a continuation or something. We'll find out. So you have climate. You have ah, control with Pluto. It says a marionette dances on its spring. Uh, sorry, on its strings. Sometimes control can help you to master a subject. Often it can be a misuse of power or overly self-protective. Ask yourself whether control is helping or hurting. Then connect with the part of you that is comfortable with letting go. Mm. Okay, very interesting. Let's take a look. No, first your room. You have the Isa rune with Skadi. So you have blockage, uh, stasis, and clarity. Okay. Let's pick up your next cards. So if we shuffle. Oi, we've got one, two, three four and five also and six lovely let's keep it to the side your tarot cards are ah you've got the hierophant so you have the hierophant Oi. you have the strength card with power hmm Wow, Hierophant and Strength card. This is like really big. And look, it says don't misuse power. Wow, okay. You have the moon. You have the Justice card with adjustment. Gosh. Looks like you have a lot of control uh, over something in your life. And with the justice card here appearing, this is talking about not misusing it. Uh, because remember with the ma'at and the heart and the feather, you know, everything is karma, right? Every little thing that you do, you need to think about. Because sometimes you could be in the right, but you can overdo it, right? And sometimes this is um, this could also be having power, but being unfair to yourself. So it depends on, or maybe it's both and you need to balance it. Let's, let, let's continue here. So you have the five of wands talking about a struggle. And you have the Four of Cups. Hmm. You could be in some form of pickle. And maybe things are getting a little rough here with the climate, 
like things are changing, seasons are changing. And I see your guides are saying these changes happening in your life are meant to happen because with transformation in Scorpio, of course, it's meant to help you grow, transform, and perhaps with the power card into a more powerful person or a stronger person. Maybe this is even internally. So I think with the moon, this could be building emotional strength for you or a strong emotional character. You can see here the pyramids like kind of uh, symbolizing how the information of the cosmos, you're kind of downloading here with the Hierophant new type of information and new ways of doing things that you haven't done before. So your guidance here is, although you're going through a lot of struggles, don't think of the first thing that you have and use that power to mitigate it or to protect yourself from it happening. Of course, you should always protect yourself. But I'm trying to say here in this card, is like, don't overuse your power. And instead, with the Four of Cups, think of alternative ways in which you can handle something that you haven't tried before. Because with the Four of Cups, I think the tools that you have and the things that you you can do are it could be overused or not that effective anymore. Or maybe you're being guided not to pick them because they could be extreme for the situation. And so with the Four of Cups, this is take the time to think of different ways in which you can do something to be inspired by a different way. And this shall come. Do you see how the cosmos are downloaded? If you are in a state of balance, in fact, the Isa rune is a rune about digging, going through some difficult times. But as you dig, you find great treasure. And that's what I really feel the Four of Cups is talking about here, especially with the moon card. Moon card sometimes symbolizes the subconscious mind. But both have an element of emotion and thought. Um, because although the Four of Cups is not really thinking, it's more considering it being inspired. So I really feel that your guides are talking about a difficulty in your life, a sort of challenge in your life. And they're saying if you sit on it and not just use the first control that you have in your hands to hit back or to do something, but instead stay calm and give another chance to think about how else you can do or take yourself out of the situation, you will find that you will be able to easily download not just a good idea. Do you see the pyramids here getting into the Hierophant's head? You will be able to download your transformation, <laughs> kind of like, to download a, the balanced way to do something, the right way to do something, where you are fair to yourself and fair to the situation. So it's definitely talking about a different situation than what we're seeing here, unless you know how they connect together. Um, and it's definitely talking about not misusing your power or over protecting yourself. You know, I had a dream today. I don't, this was like, this is a very private dream. And I, I didn't even know what it meant, but I think uh, perhaps you're meant to hear it. I had a dream today. It was such a disturbing, weird dream. I dreamt that troop, two people were trying to kill me. So um, I was, I had to quickly protect myself and I had to like um, stop them from killing me. But if I stopped them, they would kill me. So in my dream, I remember I really got scared and angry and I was thinking of how to kill them so that I protect myself. But then when I was killing them, I felt so bad for them. <laughs> and suddenly I got this capability of flying. So I took them and then I was flying and I really didn't know what to do at this point. Like, should I drop them somewhere? Would they come back and try to kill me? Or if I like 
kill them? Would I feel guilty? Would I, you know, would I be blamed? I, I was really confused and I was flying, <laughs> holding them and not knowing what to do. Uh, so I don't know. I, I, I still don't know what this dream is about, why I have this dream. Uh, but perhaps you are meant to hear about this dream because when I saw control and I started talking about your reading, I remembered my dream. Maybe you're meant to hear it. Uh, I'm not sure what it's about, but since we mentioned it in your pile, let's think about uh, how this all connects. Maybe I'm like channeling something for you here to help you. Let's let, let me think. The fact that I got the ability to fly all of a sudden makes me think that your message is when you are going through a difficult situation, you will be supported by the universe with a form of power that can help you in the situation. So perhaps this is the power card that we're talking about here. So perhaps this is not a power that you have. Maybe this is a power that you will have, perhaps. And so your guides are saying you have a power or will have a power. Use it, but don't misuse it. Um, don't overprotect yourself and don't misuse the power on others. Uh... Now that I'm calm, I have another idea for the dream. I mean, if I had the power to fly, I could have used this power to quickly go and report that I have people in the house killing me and, and to quickly like uh, have the police come and catch them instead of the rage and the anger and the fear that I had trying to um, trying to kill them, which I couldn't do even in the dream with all this fear and rage. So I think this is saying being balanced and calm and not emotional will allow you to create that great transformation for yourself and know that you are supported by the universe with a, with a strong power. Use it, but don't overuse it and don't overprotect yourself and think of creative ways in which you can protect yourself in this difficult situation, but without misusing it. I think this is definitely what the, your guides are saying here. It, it is a struggle. No one can take that from you. But I see that your cards are pointing towards it being an emotional struggle, an internal struggle. We have a constellation here. This is probably the line constellation, of course. Yeah, so um, what I'm trying to say is you guys are saying this is an, it looks like it's an external situation where you may be trying to control others because they're not behaving in a good way, but this is a reflection of something internal. Um, the universe is presenting this lesson or this is happening for you to heal something within. And should you sit down tranquilly, calmly, open to receive, without feeling the anger, without feeling the frustration, uh, without feeling the hate or whatever this is, the lack of control, helplessness or anything, just tranquilly, you will be able to download a great way of dealing with the situation and not just necessarily when you're out of it, but also most importantly, when you're in it, because with the Isa rune, this is saying that it may be a challenging situation now, but there will be so much treasure as a result. And I think the treasure here is about you growing stronger where nothing really affects you. You can see here the two lions looking up at the strength card figure and admiring them. Uh, this strength card is ho holding a snake in one hand and a lotus in another. Uh, which is symbolic of her transformation and of her knowledge and power. So s remain calm in a situation. Don't try to control, but rather that tranquility will allow you to be fully connected with the cosmos and the universe 
and it will guide you with the hierophant on how to act in any situation right away. So, my dear pile number one, really cool reading. <laughs> I wish you the best of luck in these two situations. You will transform and you will be uh, holding reins to the situation. And here, continue to work hard without worry because there is definitely something sprouting here for you being manifested in June. My dear pile number one, this was your reading. I truly hope you've enjoyed it. And if you have, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel so that you never miss a reading that I upload. And please don't forget to check out the memberships for now. There is the memberships where there is a feather badge and it, you know, it allows us to all become a community. There are cool stickers coming up uh, with the internal jokes that we have on the channel. It'll be so much fun <laughs> to be using it with you guys. And if you're interested, you'll find the join button down underneath, right underneath the video. If you're interested in joining and supporting me, thank you so much for connecting, for supporting, for watching. Everything makes a difference. Thank you. Love you guys. And I'll catch you in the next reading. Bye. Hi, pile number two. Welcome to your reading. Today, we're taking a look at two clear messages that are meant to reach you right now. Your crystal is the beautiful selenite in the form of a snowflake. And if you've picked your pile using your crystals, then in that case, the crystals, the, sorry, you're using your zodiac signs, then the zodiac signs for this pile are Aquarius, Libra, Cancer, and Leo. Welcome to your reading. If these are not your zodiac signs, as I always remind you guys, please don't worry about it. Remember, it's a general reading. Some specific details may resonate with you right away. And at other times, these specific details may not at all. And, you know, maybe they're meant for someone else. And that is really just the nature of a general reading. Okay, so let's shuffle your last Oracle deck to find out what your two clear messages that are meant to reach you right now are. Okay, so let's pull out your tarot deck, create space, and begin your reading. I need to shuffle your tarot deck first. <laughs> so what are your two clear messages that are meant to reach you right now? Okay, we'll be taking five tarot decks for each row. First row will be your first message. Second row will obviously be your second message. All right, so you have the Othala rune Markstava in reverse with indep independence, breaking cycles, single, really nice. You have Gifun. Okay, you have... Mercury with the keyword mindset. So it says a fox surveys the landscape. Notice the way you assess and interpret a situation. Discover a new, more objective perspective by writing in a journal, uh, talking to a trusted counselor or friend, reading or learning. Most of all, find clarity by listening to your inner wisdom. Really nice. Okay, so this is all about internal communication here. You also have cycles. My goodness, this is the second time you get cycles. Okay, it makes me think right away of something that is reoccurrent in your life. How you are stuck in a specific mindset without realizing that keeps taking you to the same either karma or the same situation or the same type of people over and over and over. And this is clear guidance to help you break from the cycle right now forever. And you have pers uh, perseverance with, the sa with Sagittarius. Interesting that you have perseverance mm, because it seems like it's, it needs... A perseverance to break free from this continue the, like this perpetual cycle or situation right let's pull out your tarot cards oh look at that this is definitely a message about you 
breaking free and growing with the judgment current. Finally being illuminated on how to do something. You have the king of wands finding power. Wow, you've got the nine of cups. And again, this really makes me feel this specific nine of cups. Um, the, um, the wish of being free. You, re can, you can really see the soul here, here is free. A wish fulfillment of being free. To break free from a cycle. Breaking free. Wow, ten of cups. The Page of Pentacles. Wow, and the Page of Wands, two pages. Look, guys, in, if you're going through a difficult situation in your life and you feel like this specific situation keeps happening to you, that same situation. So that situation could be uh, like constantly finding yourself uh, in, uh, in loans, although you're trying your best to manage your finances or constantly finding yourself having to deal with these type of people or constantly um, going through a specific situation that is difficult, like uh, constantly, um, I'm talking situation like finding yourself in the middle of two people arguing or finding yourself losing the people that you love or constantly finding yourself wanting to get or manifest something and it doesn't come true that perpetual cycle of something continuously happening that you're really frustrated about i have great news for you my dear pile number two your guides here are saying you are about you are on the brink of breaking free from this cycle this time it's look at the wand here this time it's going to re re require a little bit extra force or power more than the usual this growth and this king of wands it shows me that you have already like, like seeing the ten of pentacles the nine of cups this is not like the first time where you're trying to break out of the cycle but it didn't work previously i see that and this time, all the combined efforts that you've put in are actually going to start manifesting. And this time, you're breaking free. Like, you're really on the brink here of <laughs> breaking uh, out of the cycle. You're becoming free very soon. And your guides here are saying to break free from the cycle is not about what you do necessarily on the outside world. The secret here this time is how you speak to yourself. That's the whole key. You've got the fox symbolizing intelligence, symbolizing getting what you want in a, in a smart way. Um, interestingly, breaking out of your cycle, whatever this difficult situation is, isn't necessarily about what you should do on the outside but it's about how you speak to yourself or how you handle your thoughts within, also with the cycles and the uh, seasons, how you handle yourself, your mind, your emotions, your heart, everything. How you handle yourself and not the outside. Okay, I think we talked about that enough. And to break cycles, you're guided to do things your own way because you have Gifyun. And she is the goddess of the unmarried, childless women. You can see you have the idea of doing things your own way, regardless of either what the community expects of you or what everyone is doing. I think, I think here this is talking about how your path is unique and... When you're thinking about how to break from this cycle, uh, there's this guidance of depend on your own thoughts. Perhaps this is why it's talking about uh, internal thinking. So for some of you, this internal thinking is how you speak to yourself. And for others, this internal thinking is 
Trust your own thoughts. Yes, act as ask experts and people you trust and everything, but really trust your own inner wisdom. I think really this is actually what your reading is trying to say. And so to be able to actually break out of the cycle, uh, not only does it require pers perseverance this time, a little more, a little a stronger push than usual, but it also requires not watching what others do and copying them or seeing what society is expecting of you and following it, with, however this fits into your life. But I see you're getting the guidance of follow your own path. Uh, you'll break the cycle by thinking of something entirely new than what you're expecting to do or what others are doing. And this will be your ultimate freedom. Look at the body gesture. Both of them are jumping up with joy with their arms spread up high, signifying freedom. So it's even the same gesture here. How crazy is that? Wow. The exact same gesture. Wow. <laughs> okay. So... There is a strong message here for you that you can have it all with the Ten of Pentacles. And of course, I don't know what all means in your situation, but there is definitely a message of you can have it all. Perhaps this is talking about not having to choose one thing over the other. Uh, or not having to be one thing over the other. You can have it all. However, this uh, resonates with you. You can have it all. And this King of Wands is really interesting. You can see how they portray their power. The lion is standing right behind him, standing there strong. And the King of Wands is not even looking back to see if the lion is standing in place or is attacking. Everything is in place. Also, the awesome thing about this King of Wands is that they're standing with confidence and power. They know they're equipped with so much power but they're not using it right away. They are intimidating, but they're not using that power right away. So it gives me this idea that your guides are saying, shield yourself. Do you see this page of pentacles? Stand there strong in whatever the situation is by shielding yourself, but don't take action straight away. Just keep yourself prepared and stand there boldly but don't necessarily take any action if it's not necessary yet and you will find yourself to be super protected even if you don't see it because you can see the salamander here in tarot uh, symbolizing protection and so you will be protected um, you actually do have a lot of power that can protect you in this situation and to help you break free don't use it right away. Use it wisely in the right time. And as you're breaking out of the cycle, protect yourself, especially in the vulnerable areas. Stand there strong and be patient. Because your internal speech is what will give you this outside power or your internal preparation for your life depending on what this is, is what's going to give you this power. I think it's preparation because you can see Gifun here sowing and putting the, the seeds, planting the seeds. Also, the winter is a time of preparation and planning. And just like the seasons, your situation will shift and change. Stand there strong by being well prepared. Yeah, I think this is definitely talking about preparing yourself. Is this work? I'm not sure. It's a, it's a general reading. I shouldn't really assume. But you can see Gifun planting the seeds. This is a time to pre Oh, guys, I understand. Whether this is work or this is you or dealing with others, whatever the situation is, this is a season with the winter here where you're meant to prepare. It's not the time to take action yet. It's the time to 
figure things out with the mindset, understand how you can deal with the situation, plan, plan it, uh, set the seeds, find your, find your power to understand how you can protect yourself and how to stand strong uh, uh, in front of this challenge. Because when it's time for the seasons to change, perhaps on the 21st of March, if you're watching this now, or in the next time where the season is changing, there is huge growth happening for you during that time. It's the end of a, a cycle. You're really growing and changing and your situation is changing in a, in a grand way. You can see with the Nine of Cups, Ten of Cups, this is really awesome. You can see you being fulfilled, a wish coming true. And you can see with the Ten of Pentacles that you are not just achieving the things that you want, but you're getting more than you have expected because the Tens in Tarot is an excess of an energy. So you're getting more than what you even start, started out, set out to do. Oh yeah, and you can see the gestures. In the next season for you, you will be free. My dear pile number one from this terrible cycle, your, me your clear message is it's the time of preparing now so that when that next season comes, you're strong, you're prepared, and you know what to do. Okay, so my dear pile number two, this is the first clear message that I see is meant to reach you right now. Good luck with what you are preparing here. You're breaking free from it very soon. Your cards are showing it clearly. It couldn't be any <laughs> clearer than that. Okay, so let's pull out your second clear message that you, is meant to reach you right now. You have, wow, the soul you rune with the goddess soul. You have sun, success, and victory. You have the material aspect of Gemini with communication. You can see a message in a bottle and it said, yeah, it says a message in a bottle travels by sea. Really nice. Your words and ideas reach further than you may know. We are all connected and the way we express our thoughts can have influence on others. Open the channels of communication and exchange ideas with respect, kindness, and love. What a sweet uh, message. Okay, you've got also a lot of yellows right off the bat. Um, you have air. Interesting. The element of air is all about thought. Your thoughts. And you have Capricorn with secure and stable. Again, the yellows, so beautiful. All right, let's pull out your tarot cards. You have temperance. Talk about stability. Well, wow. You have the, wow, the star and the ten of cups. Guys, this is awesome. <laughs> I don't know what this is yet, but these are very favorable cards in tarot. So let's continue. You have the Page of Swords. You have the Knight of Swords and the Seven of Swords. Okay. This is definitely talking about something positive that is about to show up in your life, perhaps out of thin air, especially with message in a bottle. I get this idea. It's like something that you find that you weren't expecting. So some form of positivity or success or victory that you truly hoped for. And I see you in this situation hanging by a thread. All you have are your hopes that this situation is going to change. And you can see that you will, in fact, find security and stability in this situation. The Seven of Swords signifies that you are walking on thin thread. And even this Page of Swords is showing the same thing. But you will get to the other side. In fact, with the Knight of Swords, what you're not expecting is that you're getting to the other side rather quickly. So... This is a situation in your life that is a bit tricky, 
Maybe you're afraid to fall. Maybe you're afraid to get caught. Uh, not in the bad way, of course. Get caught, like for example, let's say you are a student and um, you're trying to now put everything together and you're afraid you get caught that you haven't done it last week, but now you're serious and you want to put it together, right? So I don't mean get caught out of doing something bad. Although even if this is, this is a message for everyone. I'm not here to judge. I'm just a messenger. I'm just trying to show you that it doesn't have to be something that is necessarily uh, really grave or bad. So um, maybe you're walking on thin thread or uh, get afraid to get caught or um, you don't know how to get some, how something is going to work out yet for you. But uh, I see that your guides are saying, continue on your path, although it seems super tricky and you're afraid. Um, also, someone here could be afraid of embarrassment because look at this bird catching them going, <laughs> the raven. <laughs> so look, whatever the situation is, or your fears are, uh, your guides here are saying, don't worry, it's not going to happen. It's really going to turn out great. What they're guiding you to do is to take, uh, just like Capricorn, stable, steady steps every day. And as you're taking these steps, make sure that you are uh, alert with the Page of Swords. Uh, oh, constantly educate yourself, constantly uh, figure, uh, bring new ideas. Don't just, it's kind of like, don't just walk. Don't just go towards it, but be alert. You know, you don't have to do it the hard way. You don't have to like, uh, take the same steps mindlessly. And although it could turn out to be that way, but your guides are saying, um, make every step that you take based on an educated decision and based on ideas that you put together. And every time you educate yourself, you'll find not just one idea, several ideas on how you can get safely to the other side um, and also quickly with the Knight of Swords. So some of you may actually be getting some form of communication or a message soon. For the last two months, I have been getting for you, communication is coming. Communication is coming. <laughs> it's really unbelievable. Some of you have already gotten your communication and a lot of you have told me in the comment section. Guys, thank you so much for um, constantly updating me. It means the world to me. So yeah, thank you for that. I won't waste your time saying that. But um, if you have heard that you will be getting communication before, this is another confirmation here. Uh, that you will actually be getting confirmation that may even change everything for you out of thin air. Um, some of you, this could be an exchange of ideas with someone or someone is exchanging ideas with you. But your path is perhaps due to this communication or due to your ideas or maybe both is changing in a unique way with temperance. With temperance, you know, you... It reminds me of a chemical reaction. You would, you put one substance on another substance and you get a totally different substance through the reaction. So I feel your guides are saying continue to be stable. Think of every step. Make educated decisions. You will be getting a message, either an exchange of ideas or some form of communication that will refine your path. Think of your path as, as being zoomed out a little bit or, or out of focus, sorry, not zoomed out, out of focus. And you're roughly going into a specific direction. And as you get closer to the other side, to the safe side, where you wish to be, hope to be, the path is going to be crispy clear. And it's going to be this merge between different things that either you've done before or the different things you thought about, or the different things you're discussing with someone else. So it's kind of like the same path, roughly, but it's going to take a form you're not expecting yet. So look out for this message, my dear pile uh, number two. 
coming as a surprise. It's I, I can't help but tell you, especially with air, it's some form of exchange of ideas. Or as you're communicating with someone, you're getting a brilliant idea because look at all the um, light bulbs here. So it's like communication. And it could be two things. Communication that's offering you something, but it's also giving you a lot of great ideas. And together with this offer and these ideas, your path is refining. In all cases, with the soul, uh, so will you ruin? There's a lot of success, victory, and positivity happening for you. Uh, what you are hoping in this situation is going to come true. And with the Ten of Cups, again, another Ten. Remember when I told you in Tarot, Tens are an excess of an energy. You're not just going to be happy with the Ten of Cups. You're going to be elated, <laughs> my dear pile number two. It's genuinely going to be a positive part of your life. This next coming stage, continue to be stable on your path. And so much is becoming clearer and... Um, stable for you specifically a huge hope and dream is coming true for you continue on your path you're nearly there my dear pile number two this was your reading i truly hope you've enjoyed it and if you have please give me a thumbs up subscribe to the channel so that you never miss a reading that I upload. And do note there is the memberships now. It's now open on the channel. If you would like to join, uh, there's only one level at the moment and it's all about the badges. And I'll be adding some really cool stickers next. Uh, all uh, our soul family inside jokes, <laughs> which will be fun to use during the reading. If you're interested in uh, becoming a member and supporting me, I thank you from the heart. Thank you for everything, for watching, for supporting, for liking. It all means the world to me. Thank you. And my dear pile number two, I'll catch you in the next reading. Bye. Hi, pile number three. Welcome to your reading. Today, we're taking a look at two clear messages that are meant to reach you right now. Your crystal is the beautiful Unakite Jasper in the shape of an angel. And if you've picked your pile using your zodiac signs, then in that case, the signs for this pile are Gemini, Capricorn, Sagittarius, and Pisces. Welcome to your reading. If these are not your zodiac signs, as I always remind you guys, please don't worry about it. Remember, it's a general reading. Some specific details uh, sometimes may resonate with you and might confirm the reading for you. And at other times, um, it may not. And it simply may be for someone else. And that is the um, idea of a general reading, the nature of a general reading. Okay, so what we're going to do in today's reading is divide... Uh, the reading itself into two parts. The top row will be your first clear message and the bottom row will be the second clear message. And that's what we've done throughout the whole reading in pile number one and pile number two. Okay, so your cards are shuffled and ready. Let's get straight into it and see what your first clear message is. All right, I'll create space here. And let's pull out your oracle cards. So you have the Othala rune with Frike, the goddess Frike, with inheritance, family, home. Okay. You have the material aspect of Libra, which is beauty. And here it says, a swan glides into view. What does beauty mean to you? Does it evoke wonder, peace, joy, meaning, or something else? How much does the pursuit of beauty guide your actions? Ask yourself whether your unique perspective on beauty is benefiting or hindering you. Very interesting. Okay, let's pull out a third card. You have niche. Oh, sorry, I hope this didn't happen with the rest of the cards. So you have niche. This was your um, material aspect of Libra card with beauty. And this is the Othala rune. All right. Let's pull out your last Oracle card. 
and you have a Taurus with uh, weather the storm. Really interesting. Okay. All right, let's take a look at your tarot cards. So you have the Knight of Swords. Hmm. The Queen of Wands. And the Seven of Pentacles. Okay. You have the Six of Wands. The Star card. Whoa. Star and Queen of Wands here. This is, I first thought, power. But this is not talking about power. In that case, this is talking about you standing out. Perhaps that's why you have niche. Okay, standing out in what? In a community, because Othala is a rune of family, but it could be community also. And you have the chariot. I got one extra card when I was pulling out, and that is the five of swords. So let's keep it there. Ah, and it's interesting that it came in conjunction to weather the storm. So what is going on here and what is your message? Niche. Community. So I see different things. Think seeing niche and community for a lot of you, this could actually be what it's saying. Some of you may be like finding your niche and finding your community online. That could be one direction. Another direction, this could be like there could be some difficulties going on within your family at the moment. And with niche, you have a role, you have an important role within this situation. Uh, this could also be your work, your um, the company that you work in, the team with, sorry, in with your team. With weather, the storm, you could be at the moment going through some turbulence in whichever case this is. And here your guides are saying with niche that you have a role within this turbulence, like you need to show up or something with the star card and the queen of wands. You definitely need to be present there. Because with whether the storm and the five of swords, you could be a key person in winning over this difficult situation if this is like you creating a community with the niche and uh, the Othala, then it says, don't be afraid to shine, to stand out. Because with the Five of Swords, I feel like you are going to overcome the difficulties of new beginnings. Like when you're trying to open a new page or a new channel, um, like when no one's seeing you yet. In that case, your guides are saying, Stay strong, stay there. It's you're going to be look at that the star card and the queen of wands. If you if this is like I know for some of you, uh, open it, creating a community, you are going to shine. If this is not social media, if this is family work and there's some uh, difficulties going on at the moment, your guides are in that case saying, See, a swan glides into view. Uh, which means that you're usually a peaceful person, you know? You're usually the beautiful person of this community. You're sweet, you know? You don't interfere. I feel like your guides are saying, step in. Uh, you have an important role to weather this storm, uh, to put things into perspective. Why? Because with the Knight of Swords, it seems to me like you are an intelligent person, quick on your feet. Um your thoughts are quick. And so with through the things that you're going to say in this situation, you're going to help 
your team or the the person who is not treated well win this situation so yeah you've got an important role and it all has to do with the knight of swords on how quick you are on your feet how intelligent you are the smart opinions that you can bring to the table if this is your work standing out whether it's the social media or your work i see that perhaps your it, uh, work is going through something and they need you to step in like your guides are saying hey this is your chance to stand out step in because the important things and the ideas that you will be sharing on the table on that day will not only help your company to win over some difficulty but it will make you truly stand out this is the your time with the chariot my dear pile number three to step out and show who you are what you're made of what you're capable of doing and what you're capable of saying and sharing this is the time to speak out so how is this situation going to happen i feel with the seven of pentacles this is telling you to be patient because something is in the stars for you look at the ram in the clouds something is in the stars and is meant to happen now for you and if you do take action you will catch it it's kind of like this is making me feel like it's a wheel and it's going round and just like the lottery something is aligned for you to for for it to happen to you should you choose to take action to speak out your mind within your community I will try to get guidance for you because if you're like confused, you're like, okay, I'm ready to take action. What action am I supposed to take? If this is your question, let me pull out some cards before we move to the, like continue speaking about the seven of pentacles. So what is pile number three guided to do exactly, please? Judgment. Eight of swords. And the two of wands. This is definitely ideas. To express ideas that others are not seeing. To express your mind. To show others a, a point of view. A whole point of view that they are not seeing. And this is bringing awareness through your beautiful mind. So don't be afraid to speak out when the chance should present itself. In that case, for some of you with the Seven of Pentacles, it's like it didn't start yet, but it's going to begin. If you are asking the question of what is this about? If you already know what this is about, then this is saying be patient because what you've just done or what you're about to do is going to fulfill something so good for you it's going to help you move forward in your career or help your family move forward and it's really going to show your power and make you shine it's going to truly show who you are to everyone and yourself so step out has this happened for everyone watching this pile Knight of Cups and the Justice card. I think this is saying it's right about to happen. For most of you, it's right about to happen. Okay. And since the Seven of Pentacles is really talking about time here, like be patient because taking action now is going to get you a great offer is going to make you shine thinking of seven of pentacles as timing here i believe you know i know seven of pentacles is the third decan in taurus so taurus season taurus season is april something around april may happen for you uh, to your community or to you depending on how this reading is uh, resonating with you so a swan glides into view this is definitely telling you when the time comes which is now and you see some form of challenge happen in your community it's the time to step out right now because your the stars are aligning in your favor and if this is about you stepping out showing yourself 
you know, creating your own community, then your guides are saying, step out there and create it now. Now's the time to do that. Start taking action with the Knight of Swords. Okay. So, let's now take a look, my dear pile number three, uh, at your second clear message that is meant to reach you right now. The Five of Swords, you're going to win. Uh, yeah, weather the storm, the difficulties. You will be the main participant that uh, ov helps overcome this difficult situation, whether it is for yourself um, or for your community. Okay. So now, as mentioned, let's take a look at the second clear message. Oh, so you've got the Suwalyu rune. Pile number two got the Suwalyu rune in their second part. And so I feel like if you're drawn to pile number two, I highly recommend it. So you've got the Suwalyu rune with the goddess soul, sun, success, victory. Are they connected in your case? Perhaps. Let's find out. You might be getting more information in pile number two. Uh, yeah. So you have uh, the wisdom aspect of Virgo with evolution. And it says a seed pod, uh, a seed pod catches the wind. A seed pod uses the wind to travel further a field, further afield and increases chances of finding fertile ground. Evolution can be practical. Minor changes can add up. What small useful habits can you put in place? Very interesting. You have water. It's like being planted and watering it. And you have uh, Taurus and four. Again, you know, this could be signifying another time, April. But you have cultivation. What are the odds? Wow, like the seed, cultivate it and water it getting uh, with the sunlight creating photosynthesis <laughs> and things sprouting for you whoa this is so cool okay we've got the seed we've got the soil we've got the water and we've got the sun this is like you having everything to make something successful okay let's take a look at your tarot cards so you have the six of pentacles it's like uh, you've got generosity of a specific resource to make something happen. Or all the resources needed to make something happen. You have the page of wands. And you have the strength card. You have the Four of Pentacles. And there we go, the Ram again. Like there. Ram. Also seems like... Yeah, April is uh, important for you. Aries and Taurus. So Four of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles. And you have the Four of Swords. You know what this reminds me of? This is like put in the effort, water it, and just like plants. That's why you have the symbolism of plants in the second part of your reading, this whole process. You know, plant it, take care of it, water it, and then sit back and relax and watch what's meant to happen. So this is an invitation from your guides to begin something right away. Could they be connected for you? I mean, at that case, if this is social media for you, this is definitely your guides saying, or if this could be a project, it may not be just be social media. Uh, yeah, this could be a project. So project, social media, you presenting your idea at work. There, there's definitely your guides trying to talk to you about something here clearly. And they're saying, look, where you are now, you have all the resources needed to make this idea come to life. And look at the key on the head. Again, signifying an idea. There is an emphasis in your reading about your mind and how clever you are. So your guides are saying you've got all the resources needed generously to make something happen. 
So take the initiative with the Page of Wands today. Start planting the seed, taking good care of it. Work on it every day with the Knight of Pentacles. Be consistent because remember, it did say what small, what small useful habit can you put in place? Perhaps that is directly your question with the Knight of, Knight of Pentacles. What small useful habits or habit can you put in place today that if you follow can make that idea sprout to life? I see with the Four of Pentacles, it's like hold off from um, temptations. Hold off from temptations. Keep this dream close to you. So this is saying do what is necessary and continue to hold on and protect it. And continue to follow your habits. Because your guides are saying, this looks to me like the kind of energy of putting the energy in the beginning and then resting later on. It's really awesome to see that for you because usually you create a habit and you follow it and that becomes your new life. Here, that's not your message. Your message is it's this is a new thing that will require this uh, force of power in the beginning that will need a lot of power and discipline and steady work in the beginning. But once you put the necessary needed energy for this idea, it's going to start being successful for you, working out for you with minimal effort, you know, watering it every now and then. And also with evolution, I feel like things will be sent your way uh, to make it work for you. So don't rest now, swap it and do the other way around. Put that effort in now, succeed. Know that you have all of these resources at hand being given to you for a reason because you're meant to create something awesome for yourself here if this is about you discussing an idea with your manager this is in that case if i connect these two readings this is saying present your idea talk about it be out there work on it and then when this idea works um in that case with the four of swords you're gonna rest like maybe you're going to be promoted and so, yes, of course, there will be work and responsibilities, but maybe it won't be as tough because you would have proven yourself. If this is your project, go ahead and do a lot of work now. Maybe later you're going to rest because maybe you'll put in a system in place. I don't know what it is. I, I, I can't guess, right? Maybe this is literally you only having to do a, a, a lot of work in the beginning and, and uh, resting for the rest of your life. There are circumstances exactly like that. So I think you're going to be one of the lucky ones here that will put in some effort in the beginning and really rest and be calm later on. You could also be a student. Maybe this is telling you to stand out in front of your professor. This is your community, your university, your class. Stand out and present that research that you've done maybe because it will be giving you opportunities later on in life or do something great for you at your university in all cases your guides are saying follow your mind you're a very intelligent person and uh, follow your mind you're seeing the light continue to work hard in this phase of your life because right after it you're resting and i keep getting the month four for you four of swords for Taurus, there is something awesome uh, uh, with your reading when it comes to next April, my dear pile number three. So yeah, this is the time to work. And awesome opportunities will be showing, uh, showing up in your life. Pile number three, it seems like this is a time of your life in which you'll be creating great success. Look at the Suol you. Th this is the sun goddess. Look at you being seen like this everywhere. Isn't this awesome? <laughs> so your guides are saying you're shining bright in this next phase of your life. Make use of that energy and shine bright, my dear pile number three. This was your reading. I truly hope you've enjoyed it. And if you have, please give me a thumbs up. 
subscribe to the channel so that you never miss a reading that I upload. And do note that I did open the memberships on this channel. If you would like to join, you'll find the join bot button down below the, the video itself. And right now, there's only one level where you'll get a badge with a white feather to be part of the white feather community. <laughs> It'll stand out right away. And also, I will be adding stickers soon of all the inside jokes and um, the internal things that we all know about in our community, which I'm sure you will enjoy using. And if you're interested in becoming a member and joining, uh, Thank you so much for your support. I truly appreciate it. And hello, welcome to the community. <laughs> Sending you love in all cases, whether you watch or wish me well or tune in or like, it all counts to my heart. Thank you so much for everything. Sending you love. And my dear pile number three, I'll catch you in the next reading. Bye.